Tim versus Chris. A veteran of the league versus a brand new uh, player. And uh, is this, this a is top the four game? Top eight. Top eight. The quarter right. quarterfinals. So. See how prepared I came tonight. Mm hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, Tim and Chris set up their rocks, set up their ships. Then we're going to have them come back and talk about setting up their rocks and setting up their ships. A little bit of strategy. A little bit of strategy. Yeah. Well, which like, is good uh, for learning, which is what the PTL is all about. You put much thought into how you deployed your rocks and did you have a strategy? Yeah, I couldn't decide whether or not to put it on his side or, or my side. On my side would... You know, if you block a lane, it, it hinders the K-turns, and the defenders love lanes, but I don't mind them going through the lanes that he's lined up. I've got a lot of tricks and scummy nonsense to throw at his way, and if he's near rocks, it's always beneficial. I might be able to ionize him or, or tractor beam him, get him on a rock, and trigger Gestero. We'll find out. And uh, there is no other way to proc Gestero other than people going on rocks, it seems. Uh, correct, yeah, unless I happen to use Chitako Vizago creatively but we'll see top eight on thank your first you season and what were some of your thoughts behind the your rock placement uh i put the one sort of close to his three cluster there first i put it at uh two three so he has to deal with it a little longer and that's really the only one i gave any thought to truthfully where ideally would you want the first engagement to be from the viewer's perspective probably like a range one off the top left hand corner of the center rock i don't mind that spot Defenders have to go fast, right? So they're going to get down the board a lot faster than me. If I can engage them in good way, I mean, they can K-turn, but Unkar can back up. So we'll see if that is useful. I put a lot of thought into Pattern Analyzer about dropping it and putting a couple more points into some of my other ships. But the ability for Unkar to back up and then either barrel roll or take an action is often worth its weight in gold. So we'll see if that works out for these high agility uh, Imperial ships. And Chris took initiative. So how's that for you? I'm not upset with that. My only PS6 is Leighton, and Guri's used to not being the top ace, so I'm, I'm okay with that. All right, Tim, uh, you're a vet, and it's Chris's first uh, time in the top I'm cut. I'm really, really excited and, for uh, Chris. He's done really well in his yeah. season, and it's great to see some new faces. Yeah. And uh, I can't say that I'm happy as a, a, a pig in feces about uh, playing some defenders, but you know what? At least it's not uh, playing Ghost Fan, right? So. Putting all your ships in the, sort of the upper right-hand corner of the screen there, and sort of in a, a refused flank. How do you plan on approaching the engagement, and where would you prefer that to happen with his ships? Um, the only thing I'd really like is I'd like them to all sort of hit at the same time. Uh, I got the one ship with a tractor beam, so if I can hit with that tractor beam, I want to get as many other guns on him uh, as I can. Any thought behind uh, seizing the initiative? Uh, yeah, I want to get uh, Vessary that first shot if he can. Again, right. Get those all tractor right. beams where I can get them. Congratulations again on making top eight. Appreciate it first uh, season and uh, I look forward to watching the match awesome I look forward it. to playing it yeah. <laughs> so right. in the PTL you can only play a named pilot once that's correct right and so these pilots haven't been used by any of these players either of these players in the seven games leading up to this point Tim went seven and oh Chris went I believe five and two they were top and bottom of the top eight both did really well and uh, you know, Tim's making some real fast decisions here. Chris making some real fast decisions. Now this is a crazy match. They agreed beforehand to play a, a arcs only welterweight match. Right. So welterweights is you have to fly a named pilot under pilot skill six, In, and including pilot skill six. In, including pilot skill six. Uh, and those and that includes VI and adaptability, so you can't VI or adaptability above pilot skill six. Right. Tim, there cloaking his Unkar Plet, and then arcs only is a PTL format familiar to many, uh, which says you can't use secondary weapons, turrets, or uh, arcs, mobile arcs, except for cannons. Right. And are we allowing bombs or any of that kind of stuff in ARCs only? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm being difficult. I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I Maybe? So, I But I we do remember. have cannons, right? We've got tractor beam on one side, ion yes. cannon on the other. Cannons are allowed, but, but they're still within torpedoes. ARC. So. Exactly. They're still in ARC. 
So producer Victor there throwing up some of the cards we're seeing used already uh, because Tim's list is... Who's Leighton Ashera? All right. Victor, who is <laughs> right. Leighton Ashera? Let's, let's have that thrown up on screen. So Thanks, she's, Walter Waits. So she's one of the Sikhs from the... Uh, the original no sea. no she's from the new one. Oh, from the new one from the sea rock cruiser so after you defend against an attack if the attack did not hit you are assigned a free evade token right and so she's got an ion cannon and i'm surprised here that that isn't sunny bounder maybe I, he's used sunny bounder already he may have i have not i have not gone through or he just wanted to play the most ships that no one's ever heard of well and there down there we see tim's been using the new barrel, I believe he just used the new barrel roll on Guri. She's pointed in a very strange direction. And he's coordinate, and he's used a Tawny Mind Link. Did he sloop her out of the gate? Yeah. Producer Tra Victor is saying he slooped her out of the gate because she has Mind Link with Captain Jostero. So can you throw up, we've already thrown up Mind Link. People should know what Guri does. Guri gets a focus at range one if you're in her arc. Uh, Captain Justero, there we go, is up on stream. So when someone takes a damage outside of an attack, Justero gets to shoot them. So we're talking if they hit an asteroid and take a damage. So sometimes not even in the combat phase. Exactly. Exactly. So Tim has Shitako Visago, which he is now using. So if we can get Shitako up on screen. This is a very complicated little ship that he's built on Unkar Plot. We had to check all the rules references for this before we started. So he's cloaked. That was his action with Unkar Plot. Now, at the start of the end phase, he's discarded the cloaking device, which allows him to stay permanently cloaked with Shitako Visago, and he has put Feedback Array on Unkar Plot. Now, he cannot use Feedback Array while cloaked, but he may decloak into a bump with Unkar Plutt and then feedback array instead of attacking and tractor beam people as an action. So switching it out now as opposed to later, do you think he's hoping that Chris forgets that it's there or because he can't use it till after he decloaks anyway? I might have waited to, to show my hand with that. I mean, you, you see it's that it's coming and what's happening. Um, but I think it would be more tricksy to do it a little bit later. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking as well. Especially because he could get in there and now he's and got... Go, oh, by the way, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah he's got plush to agility now, which is which is interesting on Unkar Plutt. And we'll have to see how it so goes. So is Unkar Plutt just hoping to fly into people and deal out those tractor beam tokens? I think so. <laughs> I think right. he just wants to, to bump and grind and get in there and, and just start... You know, messing up def messing up defenders. So we'll have to see how that works for him. All right. And so we've gone through, I, I hope, I everything. I think we got most of Tim's list. We'll see so, how it works once it's in action. Yeah, so Victor, why don't we throw Unkar Plutt up, Plut up there? Because we've been talking about Unkar Plutt. We're going into round two. Both of these players are being very decisive with their dials. Very quick. They've got a plan. So... Unkar Plutt says, at the end of the activation phase, you must assign a tractor beam token to each ship you're touching. Yeah. So if you're touching him after everything's moved, he, he gets to assign a tractor beam token to you, and he gets to move you. Have fun. You know, yeah. In arc, out of arc, and, and there he goes. And Unkar Plutt is going backwards, folks. That's yeah. what the... Tim is slow rolling. He's using all of the tricks in the, uh, in the quad jumper. He's just trying to be as confusing as possible for his opponent, I think. That would work well against me. <laughs> so now he's using Pattern Analyzer, allowing him to back up and take an action. Right. Very, right. Very, very, very interesting. He could not barrel roll. He could not fit off the... It would take him off the end of the board. So he's just going to focus. So do we want to go over Chris's list quickly? We see a couple of ships. We've got Countess Riad and Colonel Vessery who are pretty well known, but they're decked out slightly different than you're used to seeing. Absolutely. So we've got Vestry is outmaneuver and uh, Ty D, tractor beam. So outmaneuver is if he's outside of your arc and shooting you, you reduce your agility by one. Right. Very nice. Tractor beam will help with that. Yeah. And Ryad? A trick shot in the X7. So very bare bones, but that X7 is amazing. And we just got to see it in use right there. Ryad bombing through the middle. 
Uh, Chris was joking about how much he ended up on rocks, and I think that that Ryad. Well, I mean, with trick shot, you're like, okay, I want to be close to them, but not too close. He's he's pl- he knows how he plays. He's being very self-reflective and plugging those holes. That's if he's, right. If he's if he knows he's gonna put himself on rocks, then maybe trick shot's gonna help out with that. We'll see how it goes. Now, the ship that people may not know about is Lieutenant Karsabi. So, Victor, can we get Karsabi up on the screen? Yeah, I need to see this too. Okay, so what Karsabi says is that. When you are assigned a weapons disabled token, if he doesn't have a stress token, he can receive a stress token and remove the weapons disabled. Right. Okay. So what this means is that he can slam and then shoot right. for a stress. Which is great. I mean, I was talking about this while they were setting up the rocks, which is going to be, uh, you know, pasted over with the interviews. Tim's got three shields in his entire list. Chris has three shields per, per ship. ship. Yeah. Right. And a Mangler Cannon. And that Mangler Cannon, which turns hits to crits, is going to be... That's going to be a big deal. Crits can make or break how your game is going. It's going to be tough. It's going to be... It's just that little extra oomph of every so, damage that yeah. goes through is going to be from we that ship. We also see be another trick shot there. Playing to his strength. Yeah. Now let's throw. Actually, Victor, can you throw trick shot up? Because let's have a look. I don't know if it's primary only or not. So that may not be so great on Karsabi. No. Nope. Just it when is attacking. for all attacks. So that's a f- now. Now that's a four die Mangler cannon. Now it's all not right. too bad. That's beautiful. Yeah. And the XG one assault configuration title is just the title that allows him to take a cannon in the first place. It gives him cannon slots. Um, I believe it allows him to slam and shoot um, but only of only the cheap cannons and he put the Mangler cannon on Karsabi. So this is an interesting setup. I don't think I No, looks just out of range. So Tim was right. Those defenders are fast. I'm kind of surprised that Chris didn't slam Karsabi this turn to get it in. Now we've got an obstructed range three attack on uh on Here Captain comes Jostro. Trick Shot already. There you go. Play to your strengths, Chris. Play to your strengths. So let's see, we've got a, a four die four die versus four die, if I'm not correct. Is it four? Yeah. Well we've got the Kirax has two plus one for being obstructed and one for, for the range. For, for yeah. The range. So let's see. Oh, well, that's Ooh, that's exact- not a nice roll. It's exactly what you want to see. Hit crit from Ryad. Oh, and man. that's evaded. Spends that focus. Whole lot of nothing. But Jostro may be able to shoot back. I think so. We will have to see. A whole bunch of nothing this turn, folks. Yeah. We're gonna have uh, five dice. There you go. There you go. That's Perf- not surprising. Perfectly statistically average results. And <laughs> that's not how you win X-Wing. And nothing has really happened yet. <laughs> Victor and Travis, uh, producer Victor and Travis, have purchased a brand new dice tray, as you may or may not have noticed. Beautiful. This beautiful black box in the corner is you now... What? That's so handy for all of us. Yeah. Uh, there were plenty of complaints about the octagon, and I think they got tired of it. People complaining about the corners. Now there's this beautiful black box that can just sit there and... Uh, be ominous in the corner? I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's, it's sort a little of a spooky. little void there. We should get them a big st- PTL sticker. What do you think? <laughs> right for the middle. So if you're if you're Chris, uh, I mean, I'm not going to ask you with Tim because I have no idea what any of his ships do or where they're going. Oh, my God. I don't know what goes through Tim's brain to be able to play this stuff that he does, but this is why he's always in the top eight and I'm not. Where, are you, where do you think Riot's going to go? Well, I don't think she wants to fly over a rock, but maybe hard to in, uh, I don't know. What do you think? Hard to's red. Oh. If, hmm. Five, 5k green, maybe? Just. Just shoot right over that rock? Yeah, go for it. Give her. Now, that would mean that she wouldn't get an action. That would mean that she wouldn't get her evade. Right. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little confused about 
that placement in the first place. Now, Vestry, I'm imagining, can three bank, three hard in. Vestry's like, um, got a lot of options there. Karsabi's got a lot of options. He'll be able to come in. He'll be able to bank around that rock. He'll be able to slam in, get a get a mango right. shot. I'm not really worried about them engaging. So Ryan. who do you think Tim's main target is right now? Do you think he's going for Riot, or do you think he'll turn in for Vessery to avoid that outmaneuver I think, ability? I think it has to be Riot. So, like, the quad jumper has to do a two green forward, essentially. Yeah. But I think the other three ships can all get on Riot, and the way she, that she's been positioned, she's going to be, he knows she's going to be tokenless next turn. And if she takes Tim a damage. gets to move a couple of his ships first as well for blocks. And if she goes over the rock and takes a damage going over the rock, Jostero gets that Jostero take that Jostero is shot. very happy with where she is right now. Now, Jostero may even do a 5K here. Yeah, I could see that. So he's got a 4K and a 5K, and he's got Contraband Cybernetics. Now, maybe we'll get Victor to throw Contraband Cybernetics on the screen, because that's a new one. Because I don't know what that is either. So you can take a stress to do an action and red maneuvers while you're stressed. Okay. So you start stressed but for two stress you can do a red maneuver and do an action right i gotcha yeah so i don't know they've all made their choices tim's sitting on uncar plot and chris is sitting on riot he's up oh, up oh, you made a decision all what's right. the hard decision with uncar plot didn't we just say he's probably doing it too straight i think the other greens what's are two banks oh uh, we're about to see it's a bank Oh. oh, he's turning in for... That looked like a hard one. Oh, so that's yeah, a white maneuver on that ship. Kept the stress. Yeah. And he uh, he may have been deciding whether to decloak or not. There's the hard two from Jostra, which I didn't think he would do. I thought that he'd want to keep Ryad's rock, the one right in front of her, in in. He arc. could just be trying to block her from finishing whatever maneuver she set in, depending on... What but, she set. But if she did a five, she'll be right yeah, behind her. Right that's behind right. him. All right, here's Karsabi. Let's see which bank he chose. He did not choose. He did a three <laughs> straight. You don't know what anybody's going to do. No, you know, I don't know why anyone listens to me, really. But now this leaves him open to do a hard three slam with his mangler, and that puts him in a pretty good position. And he's not. He's just taking a target lock. So. It's like, oh, there's Uncar Plot. We'll deal Look. with that. Unko Plett has no shields, and he's just, it's an maybe an obstructed shot, and he's just going to wear those crits. Oh, interesting. Oh, so we do see a hard turn. I said two, but it's a three. Fair enough. Well, if, you, if you'd known the three was white, you'd, right. you'd have chosen yeah. the three. Probably. So now, he has to roll, and takes the, a damage. <laughs> there's the damage. So Countess Riot takes a damage. Now Justero gets to shoot him. I'm Range one, four dice. I'm sorry for Chris, but I'm really excited that we get to see this trigger. I mean, I <laughs> I feel like Chris tried to be unpredictable, and then Tim predicted that he would be unpredictable, and now he's he's, he's unfortunately getting getting That's lit three up. Three hits. Three hits is rough, and and he takes two. So Riad's shieldless. Yeah, that right. was fast. Well, like we said, Riot's the one that's going to get cornered this turn. Yeah. The, which you put herself out that's there. That's not at all where I thought it was going to happen, but... I, I'm with you. I thought it was going to be... Uh, I mean, Tim saw it. Tim called it. Yeah. As soon as you said the 5K, I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. But I had originally said she's going to turn in, but anyway. Yeah. See, the 5K now, they'd be behind Justero. If she bumped Justero, she'd be... Uh, Gurry's lined up beautifully line. now, too. Gurry's going to take a target lock and get another focus push that focus over to Justero with uh, a tawny mind link. Justero's going to be able to attack again with another focus. Poor Riad. Yeah. A two bank from from Vessery. Right? He doesn't have X7. Why was it? Yeah. Why would he go fast? And uh, does he have arc? Oh, that, that's going to be hard. From here, it's hard to call. Now, lay 10, I imagine Tim's going to try for a target lock here on Karsabi. And if he's able, Karsabi doesn't have the greatest defense dice. If he's able to eye on Karsabi, that's a really rough position for Chris to be in. Oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. 
All right, let's see. Yep, T trying for the target lock. Gets the target lock. Wow. So that's going to be an ion cannon shot on uh, on Karsabi. Karsabi, not tokenless. He's got a he's got a he's got a target lock, but on uh, on Karplet. Yeah. There's uh, Guri getting the extra focus for Riot being in her arc at range one. The extra focus is passed back over to to Justero. It's some good action economy. Yeah. And uh, we'll Tim's see. like everything just went perfectly my way. I mean that's what. I mean that's great. Here we have uh, checking arc on Vessery. Now they should get. We got Aaron P being our table judge. He should get in there, make a decision. This will be really interesting to see. I mean, I'm a little surprised with that move from Vessery because. Like, if Unkar Platt hadn't have turned in, he wouldn't have even been close to having Arc on him. Well, there's the tractor beam token. He acquires the target lock from Karsabi, spends the target lock from Karsabi into three hits. Now, Unkar Platt is cloaked. And, and he rolled uh, two evades. So. so he will take one, which is none. It's a tractor beam. He will be tractor beamed. So there's the tractor beam token, reducing his agility from the cloak down to three dice. Uh, for the primary attack, and uh, Chris gets to move him, but I don't know if he can get him onto a rock, or if he can get him onto a rock, it's going to be... If he gets him onto the rock, Vestry doesn't have his second shot. Yeah. Do you think he wants to move him more into Vestry's arc for, like, a range one primary? Hmm? Uh, apparently he didn't move him at all. Just leaving that reduced agility. Oh, two more into Un Uncar Plutt, so hit, crit... Not what Tim wants to see into that uh, really expensive, weird ship that is doing funky things. Yeah, Tim rolled too many dice the first time, so he just re-rolled. Fair enough. Major hull breach. All damage is dealt face up. Well, Chris is set up to uh, probably deal that. Well, the Mango Cannon is uh, coming next. So there we go. Major hull breach. Well, this is a, an interesting turn of events. I did not expect... Uh, I'm surprised Ankar Plutt was his uh, first target. It seems that that's exactly what Chris was going for, too. Two hits and a and a, a target lock reroll. Two hits into Karsabi with the Ion Cannon. Ooh. Oh, and he takes it. Blanked out. And that's really tough for him. So now we're going to see an Ion Karsabi. Can't slam? No, he can slam. But like a one-speed maneuver, that's gonna be really interesting. He's gonna be that the uh, gunboat is usually an extremely fast ship. Yeah. With its uh, three bank and three hards and three forwards, and then slamming and doing the exact same thing. But here we've got um, Karsabi taking one taking one damage, shooting range three. We're gonna have to see if it's obstructed. I think that's what we were just checking. Yeah. And we'll see based on how many dice he rolls, whether it's obstructed or not. Uh, Tim gets to roll all of the dice, but uh, has no tokens to uh, to modify. So this will be uh, quite the turn. I don't know if we'll be able to put... Uh, Oh, Matt, Tim is doing mental math on the on the table. All right, so just, oh, well, that's what you want to see. Yep. Hit, and that should be two crits. There we go, boys. They're all going to be dealt face up anyway, but they are crits. Yeah. And Ankar Plutt is dead. Didn't get to do any of his tricks that we had to look up all the FAQs on. Yeah, he came onto the board, cloaked, backed up. Turned around and just got shot out of the air. He was just trying to park his truck. <laughs> you know, he was poor on car plate. All right, but uh, now we're going to see Ryad get shot to death. Now, now that we've dealt with that half of the board, let's go to the lower half and <laughs> yeah. see what's well, going Ryad, on here. It looks like Ryad's shooting now. That's, that's range one if it's bumping on both ships. Got our judge in there doing judge things. All the hands. 
Six hands on the board right now. It's uh, a great, a good amount of hands. Looks like range. Oh, it's range two. All right. Oh, really? Looked like they couldn't fit that template in there. Well, it may be the difference between like whether it's in arc. Oh, that's like. right. Hit crit. It's pretty good. You know, Tim's dice have not been great, but he also doesn't have any mods on defense. So Leighton uh, loses her shield. Now, since that attack hit, her ability did not proc, and right. she does not get the evade die assigned to her. Oh, well. There's three hits and a crit. Gurry into, ouch, 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 ouch. Well, two into Riot, that's hit crit. One's a crit. Well, it's an action to clear. We've console, got console fire. fire. And we still got another shot coming at her. And we still have Jostro. Yeah. Ooh, it's well, not a very good two, roll, though. But I, Tim only needs one to take Riot. Yeah, off the Riot's table. got no tokens. There, there's well, Riot Maddie's. doing Riot things. The, the the cry of Natty's raising from the table. Now, I mean that's what he needed, but he also knows. Tim also knows Riot also knows Riot is not going to have any tokens next turn. She's going to have to use her action to get clear rid of the that console, console fire. fire. Or it's a 50% chance she's dead. That's right. That's not one well, you really want to take. Slightly less than 50%. It's only on hits. Oh, that's not right. Not on crits. But one of those times you're happy to roll a crit. That was quite the turn, M. Quite the turn, M. Oh, my God. I can't talk. <laughs> I should, I should yeah, stop casting. Who let you in here? should stop casting sober. Oh. All right, so I guess we're going to see Vessery and Karasabi turn in. Oh, well, Karasabi can't turn in. Karasabi Ioned. Can't. Now, now uh, does he have a one bank? One bank's not going to do anything for him. Can we throw the dials up, or is that something? Hmm? Can you do the dials on the side, or no? Oh, what do you mean? Sorry. Like the dials. Can the dials come up on the side? Can you see them? Yeah. yeah, like the way you do the, the, the do cards. Do you guys have the dials the oh, same as you have upgrade oh, cards? Oh, okay. No. I'm going to try and look. I want to. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, yeah, we just don't know what all these ships do because we're not. I'm, I'm just unfamiliar with the, uh, with the dial. Yeah. And uh, I want to know sort of what Karsabi can do, right? So Karsabi has to do a one forward. But I imagine he's going to try and slam into a shot, take a stress, and shoot that mangler again. And he's got to do something. Exactly. Which is... So he does have yeah, one he's bank. He's got the one bank. He's got one banks. So he he might he may be able to slam into the one banks, right? Is that not going to put him on that rock? It might, might put him right in front of it, which might is what get he him likes. A, might get him around it. Although, that's true. Yeah, that four-die uh, cannon. The trick shot. But, I mean, Vessery has very little, very few choices here. Whether yeah. he's going to hard three We're going to see that hard three for sure. 4K maybe? I don't think we're going to see the 4K. No 4K? He's got to point his arc at the other ships. But are there going to be, if he, if he does the hard three... I'm not sure if any of Tim's ships are still You think still he'll do the there. 4K as a setup for the next round? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right. I mean, Chris has to keep keep the damage rolling. He's maybe ahead right now because he got a ship off the board, but his Riot is really hurting, so he's yeah. not in as good a position. I wonder if he's going to do something crazy with Riot, like a, a hard three down towards the bottom of the board, just to try and... Just to get out of there for a turn? Yeah. This is nuts. All right, that's a, a pretty safe maneuver from the Kirax. It's a pretty usual maneuver. Uh, the one banks are the slowest they can go, so that's... Uh, it puts them in a pretty good position. Yeah. Now now he's predicting where Vessery's going to go. He's switching his targets. He's target-locking Vessery. So that's an interesting choice with Justero, sort of taking the heat off of uh, Araya there in case she does like a 2K and ends up right in front of him. 
So we did all this talking about slamming, and we forgot that he moves before Vessery, or was I the only one who forgot that? Oh, no, I, I definitely forgot that as well. That's all right. <laughs> We're just talking about things that don't matter over here. No, but, I mean, that's not the worst position You can in the slam world. into things, though, can't you? Because it's a maneuver? Yeah. Yes, yes. Anyway, he's not doing that. He could have done that for, like, a little bit of a, an edge in terms of where he's going to go, but... Yeah, there's the oh, Yeah, you called it with Riot, although, is that a bump? I think that's going to be a bump right in front of Just Arrow. Or maybe right into Just See, that, Arrow. That's why I'm not good at this game, is because I'd be like, yeah, let's hard three. Oh, that's in front of Just Arrow. We need to think about the movement order before we start guessing what their moves are going to be. I, I thought that there was um, the, the, the viewing angle on stream is always a little funky. That's true. It is hard to hard to call from here. And so I definitely it would have been something I considered get in behind them, and it's uh, just unfortunate now that he's probably going to die to console fire, and if not, just arrow is right oh, there. Oh, you're right. The console fire because he bumps, so he gets no action. And technically, um, if he takes the damage from console fire. Justero can also shoot him. You know, just to add insult to injury. Just to go, yeah, I can do this. Because he's dealt the damage. And then uh, Justero gets to go pew pews. Ooh, who's next? We've got Justero. We've got Karsabi. We've got Ryad. So Guri's next. We just did the fives, yeah. So. And now Guri's doing the three bank, it looks like, to chase into Karsabi. Oh, a one bank. We're really eyeballing this one. Didn't even bring the template out. <laughs> Fly casual. Fly casual, Emily. Fly casual here at the PTL. Where's the judge? Standing next to the table. <laughs> oh, okay. was right. I was right. You were right. There's the hard three. And and you know what? <laughs> now he's got, he's got shots on some ships. He can at least shoot Guri, who is tokenless. So that's not... That's not bad at all. Although that three forward there, <laughs> leaving the base behind. Well, Guri's going to get a focus token for Ryad being there, right? Which will give a focus token to Justero. Right. Right, so they'll both have focus tokens. Late in here, going to eye on Karsabi again. Again, right off the board probably, if this keeps up. I don't think that... They are that the that Leighton and the Seeks are slow enough to escort ships off the board. <laughs> he has to start uh, quite advanced in the like quite a, quite far apart. Oh yeah. We because he doesn't have that, that one forward to keep in position. He's got the two forward. He'll have to keep hitting them. All right. So here. Are we measuring range here before we're rolling for Riad's uh, console fire. Stuck. Or are we checking for an action? So, I think uh, producer Victor is off to make to remind them of the console fire. <laughs> well, we're shooting. Vessery. All right, so now it looks like we're rolling for uh, console fire. And that's a hit. And that's a dead Ryad. Oh, yeah, there we go. That is... What we predicted, I think. Uh, now, Justero does get to shoot Ryad as she took a damage without, well, not being a just, defender. Just to show off. And so this is Vessery laying into, um, it appears to be, uh, Justero. So he's taking the range two shot. And uh, looks like that hit. Again, not moving Justero. I thought maybe he would have brought him forward, but I think those are some pretty good dice there from, yeah. from Chris this round. Well, except when he rolled a hit on his console fire. Well, look, he's he's rolled seven hits and crits in a row, so he 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 can be okay with that. So that's a shield and a crit. Looks like major hull breach. I'm not sure. Structural, Structural damage. damage. Oof. So that's which is brutal. Now, unfortunately, none of his other ships have a shot on that zero agility Kirax. Which is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Now, I'm wondering, had he tractor beamed him forwards, whether Karsavi would have had a shot. 
but I think he may have mm. just been avoiding. Yeah, I don't think he would have anyway. Probably not. I think uh, he was avoiding that range one shot from the Kirax. Well, that ion cannon, woof, doing one more damage and... Another ion. Another ion. Now, Tim's going to be able to hard one his, uh, his seek next turn and ion Karsabi again. Yeah. Using uh, an excellent demonstration of control. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. Isolating him and keeping him out of... Oh, well... What are the dice right now? I, I have no idea. Well, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> look, listen. <laughs> like, like, I, unbelievable. Beautiful. <laughs> fine. So... It's fair if it happens to both of them. Sure. I mean, this is, this is, this is a very odd match. This is, uh, uh, this is beautiful. I'm loving it. All right, Tim's shooting. A whole bunch of nothing going on. Well, to be fair, we did have some stuff before this. I think this was... That must have been Justero on... on uh, that was Justero because we saw him spend the focus token. That was Justero on Vessary. The previous shot where it was all evades and all hits was must have been Guri on... Uh, it would have had to be the... Uh, Guri on Karsabi. Yeah. And uh, wow, what a turn! We saw Riot die, a whole a whole whack of hits, a whole whack of evades. One damage, I think, was exchanged. But we saw an Ion get placed again. Yes, so that was the one damage. So he can hunt that ship down. He knows exactly where it's going to be. Like I said, I, I'm expecting a one hard out of Leitan, hunting, continuing to to escort poor Karsabi off the board. But, uh, and I don't know, with Vessery, you think a hard three or a 4K? Uh, I don't think a hard three is going to put him in any kind of good position. I think the 4K is probably his better option there. Now, it is tie D Vessery. We could see the, the always squirrely one bank. One bank. But he moves, he moves after both of those ships that are in front of him. He does, yes. He could get blocked. Yeah. So 4K then. I think it's going to be the 4K. Yeah. Okay. And then, because there's no way that those ships are going to be pointing in that direction, so he knows he's going to be safe even if he doesn't have a shot. And he'll finally be able to get outmaneuvered to proc. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is going to be very a very interesting turn. And poor Karsabi just stuck up in the up in the corner there. I don't think there's going to be. I don't think there's much hope for him at all. Well, so. if he starts doing that slam after the ion, he can get some curve in there so he doesn't go off the board eventually. I think this turn he'll have to, to try and arc dodge. Yeah. So one forward slam, one bank. Yeah, I think we're going to see that because he sees what's about to happen if he just keeps going straight. Yeah. All right. Most of the dials are down. They've been very decisive. All of the dials are down. So like, let's, uh, You're just not paying attention. Okay. Two bank there from Justero. I expected him to do a, a maybe a hard two, try and come around, get a shots on Vessery for the uh, 4K, but maybe he's expecting a one bank. Yeah, I'm surprised that Tim just didn't put all his ships hardcore right onto Karasabi. Well, he's trying to fix structural damage. Hit her a crit. It appears he was uh, successful. We didn't see the die, but... He just took away the token. Yeah. And fl he flipped the damage down as well. There's the ion. And are you going to slam, Chris? No. No. Going to focus. He's like, I'll slam next turn. Slam next turn. I think that was entirely predictable. A hard one from uh, Curry. But I wonder if he's going to barrel roll. How confident is he that he's not doing the 4K? I think Tim's gone all in on Chris not 4Kng here. Huh, oh, that's interesting. There's, oh, there's the barrel roll. 
Okay. There we are. And that barrel roll might be able to block a oh, 4K. Oh, interesting. Does that block a 4K? It might. I think he's blocked most of Vestery's options. Yeah. Saw a little turn. That, I, that makes Jocera's move make a little more sense. I expected him to barrel roll the other way. That would oh, allow really? him to give him, a, yeah, to give him a range one. Oh, this is interesting. No, I, yeah. All right, so he bumps. Hmm. Hmm. And a hard one. Yeah. And uh, Light Tank continues to escort Karsabi off the board. Slow and steady over there. Yeah. Takes a target lock. Three dice versus two dice. Guri's checking if she gets that focus. Yeah, she gets a focus. Justero gets a focus. No one can shoot Justero. And he's happy as a clam. And let's see. Vestry shooting first. Going to shoot at uh, Guri. Try and, get a, yeah. gonna try and get her to spend that focus on defense. Well, maybe not with that roll, but... Uh, this is a track to be my assume. Nothing. All right, primaries, range one, four dice. Four dice at range one. Oh, yeah, here it comes. There we go. For it did one not help. big one. And nothing. Just one on defense. I mean we got we saw we got all the hits and the evades last turn. So now the dice have just given up, they're exhausted. We're not seeing anything this turn. Well, I mean, it's Vestry Ooh. shooting unmodded. Here's a reroll. Where's the other die, Tim? Get it on the board. Nothing, just... Oh, two. All right, that's two. I can't tell what those gold dice. Oh. Wow. And he did it. He have finally avoided that ion. Oh, my God. All right. I'm sure he's cheering over there. Chris, happy as a clam can now do something with uh, Karsavi. This has got to be Guri on Vess. Vess taking one. Down in a shield. That's not too bad. I think that's all right. <laughs> like this is... Uh, this is interesting. Chris has got to kill something. We're about halfway through the match, and uh, they're both in like a really interesting decision tree right now. So the ion trap is gone. Leighton has to figure out how to keep Karsabi in arc, whether that's going to happen or not. Justero's out of the match for a while, and I don't know. Vestry's going to do the 4K. Vestry's going to do a 4K, and I don't know if if Guri is can, gonna like, can get out of dodge. Yeah. Oh, what what do you think? What well, if you're if you're playing? I mean, I feel like the the Chris's maneuvers are simple. You're right. You're right. Vestry four Ks. There's no the, other move he would want to do. No, that's that's how he, like Tim's then may bring Justero with a hard two downboard. Right. That's true. Yeah, he might have been setting that up in the the turn before. Right. Maybe he'll we didn't see that because we're not super bright, but oh. that makes a lot more sense now that this has happened. So we take Justero. We do a hard two with Justero to chase Vestry, who does the 4K. Riot does a three forward to block or brawl with Karsabi. Leighton does a, a hard one. Um. Yeah. What are the K turns on those? Do they have like a 3K? On the Seeks? The Seeks. They have a 3 and a 5, I believe. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think we'll see a K turn from them. No. The hard one is, yeah, I think you're right. Hard one keeps him right on his tail. Chase him down. Yeah. Yep. They're, his hopes of taking him off the board are gone, though. And then Vessery has to come back that way anyway. Yep, right? absolutely. 
Yeah, defenders aren't tricky. They just flip back and forth. Yep. And they're just going to stay that way forever. Which is... They're just tanks that zoom across the board. And they're I'm, space tanks. I'm, I'm all right with space tanks. We still haven't seen contraband cybernetics from Jostro, although we may not have to. Jostro can also hard one. The Kirax can hard one. It can't hard three. I don't think it has a, a really fast maneuver on its dial. But it's got that hard one. We will know. definitely see a hard turn yeah. from Jostro. Now, no repositioning, no barrel rolls, no engine upgrade. Yeah, nothing fancy. But certainly he's not going to get any use out of that contraband cybernetics. Though it was free due to the Vaxi title. I am really sad that we did not get to see more of Unkar Pluck's, you know, parking skills. I'm sure Chris is happy that we don't get to see more of those. Yeah, letting letting Tim get in with Unkar Pluck and start moving his ships and running into them and assigning two track dreams a turn is probably not a good idea. It's like, I see you have some tricks there. I don't want to deal with that. Kaboom. Sorry, Ankar. No parking here. All right. Tim took a while to decide what to do with Guri. Although I think we were both like, a three forward's a good idea. Yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't just go for Karasabi at this point. She can probably put some pain in, strip those shields. Right? Get into the yeah. hull. You know, she might take some, some damage in return, but you know, she'll get an extra focus. Maybe get letting Justero take a target lock and a focus. It'll be... Uh, well, she also, she gets to see where Karasabi goes first, right? So she could do some sort of funky barrel roll. Oh, that's true. Those new barrel Initiative, rolls. man, initiative. Yeah, and, and Chris took it. Yeah. So, all right, Judge Aaron has wandered over to the producer booth and is wandering back to the game. He may want to know how much time is left, which is around 32 minutes. Yep, there's the hard one. There's the hard turn on uh, from Justero, takes the focus, all right. He may already have, the t he already has a target lock on Vessery. He gives the focus to Guri. Karsabi, hard two. Is that gonna put him on the rock? Well, I'm surprised we didn't see a bank maneuver. I think he doesn't want to slam. He's not on the rock. Although now that they've moved it wherever they want. He definitely wasn't on it, but yeah. Right. But I think what he what he'd like to do there is have an action to modify his dice or his defense dice. Yeah. He right. needs he needs to do some damage. The the Karsabi trick is fun. But, but it doesn't put damage into ships. It means you're attacking unmodded. That's what you do when you're in a real jam. Four forward from Guri. Oh. Oof. Oh, right. Now, here's where we may see that barrel roll. Puts her in a barrel roll, put her in a fun position. I, I have no idea what this barrel roll does. I cannot visualize it at all. Look at that. Puts her parallel to Karsabi. Maybe not a range one. Maybe off the board. <laughs> so it's now the, the model's a little kinked, which, which does skew the perspective yeah. a little bit. So there, she may Ooh, be. That's in gonna arc. be close. They're definitely gonna have to uh, check that. But I see what Tim was going for now. Yeah. Uh, you, you should have just run with it because you pre you predicted that he would do that. There's the 4K Vesri being predictable. It's gonna get in a, a jousting match with Joe Stero, which uh, may not always be the best choice. Yeah. But he's got a Vesri's a jouster too. Yeah. Here's the hard one from late end. One bank, perhaps? Oh, one bank. Odd. Yeah. Oh, I suppose. Does Get some he have on the rock. arc? Absolutely not. Oof. Yeah, maybe. He probably didn't think he was going to do that hard, too, because that was real close to the rock. I was expecting a hard three. From Karsabi. Right. From Karsabi. 
takes a target lock, lining. If he has arc, great. If he doesn't, he's lining it Got up it for, for another next turn. time. Yeah. No one's shooting at him, so what's it matter? And Gurry's out of range one. Oh. No is, focus. <laughs> that is definitely out of range. But 3v2. No way he goes. Wait, was it range one? Uh. Oh, he got it because of uh, Tawny Mind Link earlier with uh, yeah, Just Arrow. Yeah. There we go. Spend it. Oh, no. Targo. This is Vessery, oh, this right? This is Vessery, yeah. Yep. Using Tractor Beam for two. Spends the target lock, gets the target lock. And he's Tractor Beam. Is again. that our first try? Oh, no. That, but we got a Tractor Beam. Yeah. Now, I want to see Chris move, move Tim's ships. And he's like, oh, I'm all right with you where you are. Yeah, I don't really see why he would move them. All right, three. Tim's rolling one dice on defense. Oh, remember Vester's ability? And Justero takes two and lives. Oh. Two and lives. Karasabi could finish him off, though. That I think that's what's going to happen. So we'll see Karasabi firing that Mangler Cannon. Reduced agility is always good. And it's tough. Doing what Tim needs it to do, or what what Chris needs it to do. Yeah. Checking the arc with the uh, sick fighter. Well, that might actually be in. Like you said, it's so hard to tell from the stream angle. Yeah. Must be in. We're Must using the ion cannon again. Target lock. For one. Ugh, only one. Let's see these two dice. Oh. Natties. To be fair, it's surprising that that ion worked so many times in a row. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. That's not how the Mangler Cannon works. So spend your focus. Oh, target lock, Mangler Cannon. Okay. Yep. There you go, guys. One crit into uh, Jostro. That's all he needed. Yeah. Now, Leighton and Guri versus the world. Now, Guri's lost a little bit of that uh, action economy by losing a Tawny Mind Link. Oh, yeah, for sure. That Tawny Mind Link has been huge. Checking the arc here. Range two if she's got a shot. That audacious android, that Guri. No, I guess not. No shot. They're taking all the tokens and on to next turn. No, well, Guri's dial is down already. Tim being very decisive with both of his dials. Chris taking a little bit more time. I think we're going to see a hard one from both of Tim's ships. I just think that they're just both going to come in. and. Yeah, I don't see why they would do anything else. Shoot whatever's in front of them. And yeah, now that Guri's lost that mine link, Guri doesn't want to have to be barrel rolling all the time. Guri wants to mod those dice. This is a crazy, crazy game, folks. I don't know. So, Vessery, 4K? I don't think we'll see a 4K. Probably just some sort of quick straight maneuver. Not too far. No, Maybe a 2? He doesn't have X7, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, Chris has been pretty good with Fessery. You know, Riot sort of uh, came into the game, went over a rock and exploded. Yeah. Uh, you know, sort of just uh, was uh, live fast, die young. But uh, Vestry's been, you know, plodding along. Vestry's been doing work. Yeah. Ryad's generally the ship you want to see as a closer, but, you know, Vestry with those two attacks. Mm -hmm. Hasn't it just been Vestry and Karasabi who've done all the kills so far? Uh, yeah. Ryad didn't help. Well, well, to be fair, Ryad wasn't there for most of it, but. No. <laughs> Both of these players lost a ship very early on. Yeah. You know, Unkar Plutt tried to park his truck and got blown up. 
Naraya came in, hit a rock, and just landed up in front of some ships and just blew up. So getting into just arrow dying has been quite the work, and we're down to you know 25 minutes left in the game. There's uh, not a lot of turns left. What are we checking for here? He's got long-range scanners, so oh, they're checking to see if they can see if he can take a target lock. Correct. Gotcha. I couldn't figure out what they needed to check range for. So he's there, he's going to slam and hopefully coming around that rock. Well, and hopefully now he's behind light ten. Yep. You know, safe place, no more ions. Well, and unless Gurry foresaw that and wants to come over there. Maybe, maybe, but I think it's an okay place. Uh, Vessery can tank some damage, push some damage. You know, he could have. It's a good position for his next turn. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the hard one from Gurry. The the ship on a sideways angle really sort of messes me up. Yeah, I know. Why doesn't he have that straight? Now the question is, is he going to try and barrel roll here and catch him out? Nope. nope. Just takes a focus. All right. Well, okay. Not even going for the target lock. There's the two forward and <laughs> M called. Defenders are not complicated. They shoot things. Another hard one. And Is that going to bump Gurry? No. Very interesting. It appears as if Gurry had, does have Arc on Vessary. Although since Vessary does get to shoot first, maybe he'll be able to eye on one of those very dodgy ships. Well, unfortunately, Karsabi couldn't target lock anything this turn, meaning that Vessery uh, doesn't oh, have it. Oh, yeah, his that would have been really handy. The the saddest defender is always Vessery alone. Yeah. You kill off the rest of his, the list, and then poor sad Vessery's just a PS6 defender with no rerolls, plodding along, doing his 4K. Magic players are extra rowdy tonight. It's rather interesting. All right, so Vessery on Gurry. Vessery on Gurry for, you know, daddies. That's fine. That's the just, tractor beam, I'm going to assume. This would be the tractor beam. And that, and that, that hits. Hit. I mean, at least Tim wasted that roll on a tractor beam. Well, I mean, reducing the agility for that primary is huge. So is he going to move him? Yes. And so he's moving him so he doesn't have a shot. Well, now he's got a shot on the other ship. He can still shoot late in. Or, or it's range two. So now he's going to shoot Guri again, range two. Yep. Three dice on two dice. Oh, focus for three. Focus yeah, for three. Yeah, why greedy. wouldn't you? Get gritty. Oh, and then she... Auto thrusters, was it? Must have been range three. Ouch. Ion onto a vest. Now this might this might hit. No mods though. Oh, one mod the uh, focus. Yep. For no mods. Crit. Sorry, no mods for for Vestry. Yeah, for Vestry. Yeah. Vestry blanked it out. And ion on a defender. Yep. Now not the worst maneuver in the world. He can still do actions. It gets that coveted one forward, and he can light up uh, Guri again next year. Guri, who's taken a lot of damage. So this is Guri on Karasabi. I believe so. Looks like Karasabi just took two or three damage. And Karasabi has taken on, is down onto Hull. I'm surprised that he moved Guri with the tractor beam. I think he wanted to make sure that Guri couldn't shoot Vessery. Victor, can you check how much... Uh, damage is on Gurry. Although he's tractor beamed, I think, three or four times at this point. No, yeah. This is the first time he's moved one of the ships. And I I honestly don't know why, because he moved him into range three, which made auto thrusters kick in. Had a yeah. better, sh a guaranteed shot on Karasabi when before it was questionably an arc. You're saying he could have boosted him forward, brought him in. He wouldn't have had a shot. Brought him in maybe into range one. I don't know if I would have moved him at all, but 
Fair enough. Is Gurry's damage correct? Is Gurry's damage correct? Oh dear. Well, Vestry doesn't have to make a decision, but certainly where Karsabi goes is going to be interesting. Interesting. So Gurry took no damage that round. I got confirmation from the table from the producers Victor and Travis that uh all right. Yeah. Sure. Got hit by a tractor beam. Doesn't do damage. But I th I th he got three damage in with the other one. I guess it was evade, evade, auto thrusters, and yeah. nothing. All right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything too surprising in the dials here. Well, we're coming up on 18 minutes left, and Tim has to kill something. And that something is probably going to be Karsabi. Yeah, I think you're right. He's just got to... Leite is not in the position to do that. And he's, so he's got to get... He's got to get Guri in there. And Karsabi's in a really tough place for Tim to kill it. All right. Can't slam. He's just going to focus. And uh, I suppose pray for the best. Now, I'm surprised he's not target locking here, allowing Vessery to get those rerolls. He was up for it last turn, but then... Uh, yeah, I, I agree. So where is Guri going? Hard to, hard to barrel roll, and for the focus token. All right, let's see that barrel roll, because then the barrel roll gets him at uh, range one in arc, which allows for the focus token to come over. There we go. There's the barrel roll. That's lovely. Slipping sideways. Gonna light up uh, Vessery at uh, well, the one forward. Also blocking the barrel roll, preventing preventing him from repositioning out of arc. Very nice. Oh, chat reminding us that uh, Karsabi has long range scanners. He can't target lock that close. Which is the exact same reason he didn't do it last turn. Right. Of course, of course. Well, then maybe he could have uh, hard three, you know, gone up board and <laughs> go over to his side and just taken off. Yeah, wow. the long range scanners have just been a detriment in this game. There is the 5K. Coming All right. From late 10. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, there we go. Tim's lined up two range one shots on Vessery, who has lost two shields, but uh, late 10's shot's going to be unmodded. Gurry's only going to have a focus. Leighton's happy he's not taking any fire at him because he's definitely more vulnerable of the two ships on Tim's side. Tim wants to keep his ships on the board at this point. Fair enough. Even if he doesn't kill Vest this turn, if he just stays on him. So that's two hits there from Leighton onto uh, Vessery. Vessery's ioned again. Wow. That's, 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 that's surprising. That's, that's a rough roll there for, uh, for Chris. Normally a defender is a little... A little tankier than that. And we're going to see uh, range one from Gurry into three hits. Three. Well, two and a crit, folks. Two and a crit. Spend the focus. Take one. Last this is his last shield. Oh no, the ion, the ion cannon did damage. Yeah. What is that? Thrust control fire. And he will not clear that with the uh, That's with, right. with the one straight. So no action. You know, I really questioned Tim's 
Apparently Tim had a plan this whole time. I'm like, sure, go after Vessery, but he's going to be a tank. You know, just, just kill Karsabi and you'll be okay and you'll win. Going into 14 minutes left, they've only got two rounds, maybe three, left after this one. So Vessery is worth more points than Karasabi. Vessery is worth point more wise. points. I just didn't expect him to... Uh, yeah, I mean, Vessery's so not the him. easier target, but he's who he had shots on, and it seems to be paying off. Uh, absolutely. The fact that he made a decision to attack the ship that he could get both arcs on. Really good shots, too. Yeah. Well, late down was, I feel, more luck more luck than anything else, just because... I mean, Guri's shot was really good, but yeah, late ten, But like I said, he was just happy to not be taking fire himself. But even then, late ten's shot... If it's okay, which it has a chance of being, uh, means that Chris might be spending his focus to not get ionized so yep. that Guri has a better shot. Token right? stripping. To, yeah, to break down some of that decision making tree. Either way, you want to focus fire all the time. All the time. Focus firing is good. That's the number one rule. Well, I, I, I want to see where these guys are going. Where's Karsabi going? Turn him back in around that rock. I mean, he has done four hard twos in a row, so he should know exactly where he is, that he can make that. Oh. He might have blocked Vessery there. Vessery only clearing the ion, not the stress. Let's see where Guri is going. A hard one bump. That may kill. Yeah, put the, put the template down, put the ship back. <laughs> Oh my god, what a nightmare. Oh boy. Vessery just, er, Guri just wanted to be behind Vessery. Well, it looks like she'll have a shot on both of them. She'll be getting a focus token. And a Mangler can into the face. <laughs> that won't be nice. Or maybe just a primary? Maybe just a primary. All right, with 12 minutes left, this is this is. We are train tracking a small base ship. Yeah. This is this is make or break. It really for both yeah. players. It's, it's Chris, been a roller coaster of emotions. Absolutely, Chris has to live, and Tim has to kill something. To get what they need out of this turn, out of this yeah, round. Yeah, because Chris is ahead in points right now. Yeah. And Guri might not be <laughs> in arc. Might not have arc on Karsabi. She may have to shoot Vessery, although Vessery will be tokenless. Yeah, absolutely. Now I'm pretty sure Tim is still gunning hard for Vessery here. All right, it looks like they've determined that that's a bump on Karsabi. All hands on deck, literally and figuratively. There's the bump. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. That is not a happy place for Vessery to be. That is, he's stressed. It's range one a Guri, giving her a focus. And Leitan just slides forward. Bumping into Guri. Bumping into Guri. Good shot on Vessery. No, and Karsabi's got his choice of targets. Now, I don't think Karsabi's going to be able to kill either of those ships, so. He, I mean, Leitan is a seek. No, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. If it's range, If it's range one, that's four dice and a focus, that's... Three something hits. We will see. That's not the end of the world. It's uh, and if she takes a bad crit, she takes a direct hit. Like, Although, if Tim can get rid of Vessery, and even if he loses Leitan, he still wins. I, I believe by so. one point. You did the math. The math is on the screen. Otherwise, I would have no <laughs> idea. I mean, the math is on the screen, and I still didn't see it. So. <laughs> All right, two hits. I believe this is late 10. 
takes one on. No, nope, that was two. It's it's an it's, he's shooting you with an ion. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. It takes there one. There we go. And that looks like he's ioned the the colonel again. Oh, it's primary. Oh, primaries. Oh, okay. Just trying to finish him off. Karsabi. Not a bad He's roll. An angler. Wow. So. And a crit goes through. Do we know who that was yeah, on? Yeah, who was his target? Layton. On Layton. That makes a lot of that sense. That does make sense. He took a crit. I believe it's hard turns are red, but I'm not sure. We are finding out for you fine folks. Chat wants to know if that's the old damage deck. It is not. The old damage deck, but it deck, but it is an old damage deck. <laughs> Tim has used it quite, quite. Ver Was a thrust control. That's not. Uh, that's that's rough. That's a rough roll too. That's Vessery off the board. Oh man. That went about how Tim wanted it to. Now, do you think Tim is going to run away with the points or try to finish off Kurosabi here? Because the MOV means absolutely nothing, nothing. in it's a top just, eight game. It's just the straight wins. Yeah. With seven minutes. A little slow got, play, maybe. They've got at tops two rounds, maybe one. Yeah. Kurosabi wants to kill something, but I don't know if he can catch either of these ships. Does... Do those have any K turns? I do not believe so. I don't think so either. We did look at the dial earlier, but I already forgot. It's a, a forgettable dial. So they have no K turns, no repositioning. So it's just straight. All right. the threes, all the twos. So Tim will be able to avoid these arcs if he, this arc if he really wants to. Yeah, I, I just, like, Chris is in a real tough place here. I mean, but Tim's also in a good position to finish this ship off He's if he wants. He's just going to slide forwards. Interesting. Uh, I mean, he didn't really have a lot of other options. I mean, that's a really good decision. Uh, it is probably going to block late 10. Which means one ship not shooting on him, guaranteed. Uh, he didn't block Guri, but Guri is not going to be able to shoot him from there. Guri's just going to set up for the next turn. Light to end, there's a green, clears the stress, also bumps. So a turn of not much happening, shooting-wise. Which, I mean, for Tim, he's like, this is great. Let's keep doing this. Chris saved his bacon, but now he's got to figure out... He's, he's got to take a ship off the board. Yeah. He's going to take Gurry off the board. He has to take Gurry off the board. And that's going to be tough. Now, I still don't see how Chris is going to be able to get any kind of meaningful shot this turn. His maneuver options are quite limited. Unbelievable. This has been a real back and forth. And uh, I mean, Chris made a decision, but I don't, I don't, I don't know where he's going. Are you gonna bomb out of there? Try and preserve what MOV is left. Just reposition, come back with five minutes left in the game. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna have enough time to get any f meaningful shots out of this. There's the slam, trying to come around. 
Next turn he'll be able to, ooh, hard two. Now Guri with her funky barrel roll will probably be able to get a shot this turn. As crazy as that sounds. <laughs> it does can, sound crazy. She can bar you may not believe me, but she's gonna barrel roll right now. Come on, Tim. Oh, she can't. Not she gonna can't, fit. Not gonna fit. But but you see where I was saying, if you, when when they put the template down, she was gonna be sort of right, right. behind there. Yeah. I see where you're pointing. No one else does, but I know. <laughs> oh, this is uh, this is crazy. This is great. Everyone's just sort of like picking up, repositioning, but it's not the time of the game for that. It's uh. Oh, so yeah. I thought we might see a K turn from the seek, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Like he doesn't need to take a shot, so why? Why bother? Yeah. Was trying for a target lock. I think they Didn't might be get able. It. They might be able to get dials down. So they've been able to burn through these two rounds pretty quick. Which is exactly what Tim wanted, and he didn't have to slow play to get his way. It was yeah. just set up in a, such a way that Chris was not able to turn his arc around. Exactly. Well, those those gumboats are pretty pretty linear with what they can do. Woof. That game really flip flopped. So we got uh, they're coming over inquiring about the time. So someone's gone over to tell t Tim and Chris how much time they got left. So I think the last time they checked in was about ten minutes ago. So yeah. they know it's close to time. They're all they're being they've been fast with their dials this whole. Oh game. yeah, absolutely. Both of them have been very good about it. This has there's, been a good game. There's the hard two from uh, Karsabi. I expect Do to you see think we'll see the slam trick this time? I expect to see a slam here where he's going to come in. Did not expect that, the two bank. I think the two bank was a safer option so he can get Leighton, but. I mean, Leighton's a little kill. bit more slippery. Hard one. And again, the hard one with that barrel roll, that ship is just insanity. Yeah, it's crazy. And so, probably doesn't have arc. We're gonna watch him barrel roll and get arc. It's uh, gonna be something. Oh, no, yeah, I forgot they had boost them. <laughs> oh, that's a lot more simple, isn't it? I mean, it's a lot less fun. That's true. Oh, wow, there we go. Now the seat can't slam, so he's stuck there. Yeah. But uh, Leighton does get to shoot first. Barrel roll for uh, an ion cannon shot would be a hilarious way to end this game. But I don't know if uh, if Tim wants to do it that way. He does not. Checking the arc. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Boss Aaron getting in, trying to see if... Uh, no trick shot, no ion cannon shot, just straight up. Closest to closest is not obstructed. Regular, primary. Light 10 spends the focus, doesn't take damage, gets an evade because finally her <laughs> ability has procced. I forgot there was an ability there. But there is. Just a PS6 seek. Oh, no. That was Gurry very shot. Spends the... Uh, target lock. Spends the target lock. Take it off the Why board, Why wouldn't guys. you, right? Well... We've I mean, got 11 seconds. Spends the target lock. Comes back in. Three hits. That's, oh. that's what you want when you roll that target lock. Oh, it doesn't kill him, though. Doesn't kill him. But that is time. That is time. There you go. That was pretty fantastic. Right down to the wire. That was well played. That All was great. Right. Fantastic.